Nearly a year after unveiling its Sparrowhawk unmanned aircraft, General Atomics has given the first look at how this drone is designed to be recovered in flight. The company has also offered other details about the expected performance and capabilities of the Sparrowhawk, which is also intended to be air-launched from larger aircraft, including unmanned platforms such as the MQ-9 Reaper. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Inc., or GAASI, recently released a detailed look at Sparrowhawk and the current state of its development, along with an accompanying promotional video. As part of a larger overview of various advanced unmanned projects the company is pursuing. The firm had first publicly disclosed the existence of Sparrowhawk in September 2020. GAASI has developed one game-changing small unmanned aircraft system, or SUAS known as Sparrowhawk, which an aircraft such as the MQ-9 can carry under its wing as it might a traditional payload like a sensor pod or a fuel tank, the company's official news item says. But when the MQ-9 reaches an area of interest on a mission, it can do something few remotely operated aircraft have ever done, launch the smaller UAS and then recover it in mid-flight. The Sparrowhawk might surveil an area and turn back to rendezvous with the aircraft that launched it, it continues. In a safe area, well away from hostile warplanes or anti-air systems, the larger UAS can snatch the Sparrowhawk out of the sky and continue its mission. The official video includes a computer-generated sequence showing how this recovery process is supposed to occur. The mothership aircraft, an MQ-9B Sky Guardian is depicted in this case, deploys a relatively thin line with an orange colored sphere at the end of it. The Sparrowhawk then approaches the line, catching it in the joint between the front of its left wing and its body. A flap that opens outward from the left side of the drone's body helps steady the line. With the line in this position, a second flap in front of the first one then opens, and the unmanned aircraft banks slightly to the left. The orange ball at the end of the line gets caught between the two flaps, which then close, locking it in place. Sparrowhawk's wings, which are actually a single piece assembly that swings out 90 degrees when deployed, then return to their stored position parallel to the drone's body. The mothership aircraft then reels it back in. The entire process is conducted with a high degree of autonomy, according to GAASI.